Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitches available for the 2014 Honda Odyssey. Now we've got three hitches available in the Class 3 category, which are typically the ones we're going to recommend the most just because the versatility of them. We'll start here with part number 76025, going to be a draw tight Class 3. We're going to follow that up with part number 75270, also from draw tight, just a little bit different style. This one's a Class 3. Here we've got our Kurt. This is also a Class 3, part number C13068. Now the biggest differentiating factor aesthetically with these hitches are going to be with the draw tight design here on top. We're only going to see this portion from the rear of our vehicle. Then with the other style draw tight and also with the Kurt, this cross tube remains completely open and completely exposed all the way across the rear of the vehicle. Now with that being said, these hitches are a little bit easier to put on, so you might want to consider that if you've got a really basic tool set at home or if you're not that mechanically inclined, the draw tight and the Kurt would allow you to get a hitch on your vehicle pretty simply and pretty quickly. The draw tight that we have here is going to have improved ground clearance. It's going to get our hitch pinhole closer to the rear of the vehicle, but it is going to require a little more effort and a little more work to get it on your vehicle. I would definitely pick this one, aesthetically speaking, because it is a much cleaner looking hitch. And with that additional ground clearance, we don't have to worry about scraping or rubbing here in the back. This is also going to make it a little easier in selecting your ball mounts. If you do plan on towing smaller trailers and things, ball mount selection for these are going to be much easier. Now as far as how all the items that you would choose to use in these hitches are secured, they're all going to use a 5 8 diameter pinhole. On our draw tights, it's going to be the larger hole located closest to the front of the vehicle. Our Kurt, see this is just a single pinhole. Now these are going to have plenty of room on each side no matter which you choose for whatever class 3 type of accessory you want to use to hold your items in place. Whether it's a pin and clip, anti-rattle bolt, locking hitch pin and clip, they, they're all going to work. There's plenty of room there. Now the only time on our draw tight hitches we're ever going to use that smaller hole closer to the rear of the vehicle is with the J-pin stabilization system. Both of our draw tights are going to offer a rounded reinforcement collar. You're going to go around the end of the receiver tube opening there where the Kurt does have one that's a little bit more flush and a little bit more squared off. For the two under bumper style, we're going to have the same style safety chain connection points. This is going to be a plate style, the oval shaped hole, the draw type being just slightly larger. You'll see here on the behind bumper style or the hidden style hitch, we're going to have the round steel stock style safety chain connection points, but they're all nice and open. There's no real advantage to one over the other. Now we'll take a quick look at how these are going to attach to your vehicle. You can see our Kurt's going to have three locations on each side it's going to use to attach. Two of these are existing weld nuts. One of them is going to require you to fish in a set of hardware. When we go up to our draw type, all of these are going to use existing weld nuts in our frame, so we don't have to worry about fish wire. I would give the exposed tube installation advantage to the draw type. Now on the draw type that is completely hidden up behind the bumper, we've got two holes here. These are going to attach in right behind the rear bumper structure, and the third here that's also going into an existing weld nut under our vehicle. Now when it comes to weight capacities on our hitches, we've got a pretty good range of difference here. Let's start with the draw type that's hidden behind the bumper. This is going to offer us a 525 pound tongue weight rating. That's the maximum downward force that we can put here at the receiver tube opening. And it gives us a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. That would be the total weight of our trailer and anything that we were to load up. Now this hitch is not rated for use with weight distribution, so if you need to use weight distribution with your trailer, you will want to eliminate this hitch. Once we go into our draw tight, that's the exposed tube, its tongue weight rating is 675 pounds, its gross trailer weight rating is 4,500 pounds. Once we go into weight distribution, since it is rated for that, our tongue weight's going to stay the same at 675 pounds. However, the gross trailer weight rating, it's going to go up to 5,000. When we look at our Kurt, this hitch offers a 350 pound tongue weight rating and a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. 
It's also rated for weight distribution. If you go to weight distribution, we're gonna go up to 500 pounds on the tongue weight rating and 5,000 pounds on the gross trailer weight rating. Of course, you will wanna consult your owner's manual, figure out what your vehicle's tow rating is and go off of whichever those numbers are the lowest. Now here's a good look at that draw tight behind the bumper hitch. See how that cross tube's gonna be completely hidden. Typically, if you've seen an Odyssey that has a hitch, there's a round tube. It goes all the way across the back and it really stands out. This hitch gives us a slightly higher ground clearance, kind of like we talked about, by about one inch. This is at about 13 and a half, somewhere in that range. Typically, they're gonna be somewhere around 12 and a half to 13, so that can help us when we're going in and out of driveways and keep us from kind of scraping or maybe parking lots and things like that. Also, something I like about this hitch is from the center of the hitch pinhole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's gonna be about an inch closer to the rear. So that's gonna help us with picking ball mounts, getting those to fit in without hitting the back of the bumper here, or with our cargo carriers and our bike racks to help get them out further away from the rear of the vehicle. We still do recommend using a raised shank if you're choosing your bike rack or your cargo carrier, just to help give you some additional clearance at the rear of that product. And that'll complete our look at the best hitches available for the Honda Odyssey. We hope we were helpful in answering a few of the questions you might have in the differences in hitches. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.